The major question that we're trying to address in this laboratory is how we make memories. The reason why it's so important is because every animal, every organism, including humans, make memory. Understanding how we form memories is very important because we can understand, first of all, why we do that, and second one, what are the possible medical implications of it. I'm really floored by how important and transformative a lot of the research is here at Texas A&M Corpus Christi. And I'm really glad to be a part of the, the broader picture of what we're doing here. Our lab is very interested in the study of fear. And that's not just the way that the brain responds to fear, but the real life applications for an animal being afraid um, in terms of the animal's behavior and how that behavior has environmental consequences. The research is, first of all, understanding the cellular and molecular mechanism of memory. Uh, what are the participants at the cellular level? What are the molecules? What are the um, components of the cells and the brain itself that are responsible to make you remembering something? What we're interested in doing is trying to figure out how the animal's behavior changes, and we're also trying to chase down those chemicals so we can sort of play Dr. Doolittle and listen in on the conversations that they're having with each other. It's not every day that you can go into the brain of an animal and directly look on a screen and see what the animal is you know, thinking, more or less. Studying memory in a simple animals can give you answer that you can then translate into a much complex system, including us. The tools that we work here on this campus um, are pretty varied, and so we can lay a good foundation to learn techniques and equipment that you might not otherwise learn. The feeling that you get when you find out something about the world that no one else on the planet knows, it's, it's a good feeling.